Hey guys, and welcome back to another awesome tutorial. Um, I was working on this artwork for a client, and then um, I had to blow out some illustrations I used to create this. Um, I felt the need to make a tutorial on how to blow out things in Illustrator. You know, when it comes to Photoshop, it's very easy to do that, but in Illustrator, it might seem um, a little bit difficult. So, without further ado, Let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have um, the shape or the artwork or whatever it is you want to blow out in Illustrator. So, for this tutorial I'll be using the strawberry. Alright, let me just grab one and then duplicate this. Control Alt on your keyboard, click and drag out. It's going to make a duplicate. Alright, so I have it here, but the reason you can't see it is because I embedded it in a clip group. So I clipped it to this rectangle. That means anything outside you won't be able to see it. I'll make a separate video on, on that. On how to clip things in Illustrator, you know uh, the clipping mask. The way you do it in Photoshop, you just hold out and clip. It's very simple. But in Illustrator, it's a little bit different. So I will do a separate tutorial for that. But here, what you want to do, let's take this out of the clip group. And now you're going to see it's going to be visible. Sorry, the file is a little bit um, large. That's why it's taking time. Alright, so let's say you have this shape. Now, the reason you can't see the lines is because I hit them. Ctrl H to show the lines. Ctrl H to hide the back. Alright, so let's say we want to blow this out. In, uh, in Illustrator, it's a bit uh, different from Photoshop. So, let's reduce this. Let's bring it to the side. First thing you want to do is go over to effects and you see blur so you have um, the options to choose from but since we want to just blur this out for um, our work let's head over to Gaussian blur so it's going to open up a um, little box for you so I've already added a Gaussian blur before as I you're seeing this this is where you um, check the intensity of the blur so if I increase this to maybe 4.8 you're going to see it take effect here you can increase this all the way i think to 250 but i don't know why you do that so this is um this is where you preview the before and after for some reason now when it's not working i don't know why but then if you click this it should show you um the way it was before and then when you click it to toggle it on to show you how it is after you've applied the effect so you click ok to apply the effect now that's part one the second part is how to um locate the effect that you've just added now unlike photoshop you should see an fx here so when you click on it to just show you the effect you've added but in illustrator is different First thing you want to do is head over to your appearance panel. You can get it here. Click Windows and then Appearance. So this is where you're going to see the effect you just added. But if you want to see everything about this particular shape, everything about it, click Windows, head over to Properties. It will show you everything about this particular shape this is where you can transform it if you want this is the fill which is um the color of the of the object or the shape you're going to be considering now the reason why this is showing this is because this is not just one color we have a, a, a lot of colors here so that's why you have this but if if it was just a single color then this will show that particular color so from here you can see the effect we've added. It 
its under appearance if you want to see the full effect click this and then to show you the entire effect you have here so here from here if, you, if i want to make changes to the gaussian block i'll just click this and then adjust it the way i want so that's it guys so that was how i was able to blow part of the background out for this as well so if this helped you make sure you subscribe and hit the like button so that youtube will um recommend this video to other people and then i'll see you in the next one guys thank you